Okay. Hi, we're everybody. Live. We're live. Thanks for joining today. So we haven't been here for a while, but uh, we thought it was about time we got up here and told you about our some of our favorite holiday gift ideas. Some? Some. Everything well, sitting behind us here, all the stuff on the first shelf? A whole bunch of stuff we've got to share with you. So uh, thanks, everyone, for joining. So if you haven't joined us before, I'm Valerie, and this is Mark. Hi. Uh, we're at my home, so we do tech reviews here on Amazon. And we've been doing Amazon Live for a while, but we took a little break. So this is our first live uh, for... Oh, for, well, for since... a month and a half. <laughs> for a month and a half. So. We went on vacation, then we yep. came back, and we had to take about two weeks or so to get through jet lag. <laughs> yeah, so hard to complain about that. But anyway, we're back. And uh, so we're tech reviewers here on Amazon. We do a lot of videos and a lot of different product reviews. Mark is the engineer, so he tries everything out, and I am the, you know, the human being who makes sure that it's worth recommending. <laughs> uh, so uh, we do smart home, we do smart kitchen, we do general tech and other home gadgets. Um, and uh, so why don't you show them our storefront, Mark? Okay. So, so if this is go. your first time here, thank you so much for joining, and uh, please go ahead and click that follow button so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. And uh, Mark is going to show you our storefront there that you can also find depending how you're looking at us on the Amazon Live app. And okay. uh, this is where you can find all of our other videos and content that we do here on Amazon. So you can see, um, you know, the live streams. We've done some other live streams that you can see there. Uh, some of our recommended products. Yep. So there's the live streams so there's, themselves. There's like the right live now. streams. And there's the other ones we've done. And then uh, so go back there. All right. And then why don't you show that, show everybody the videos that we do over on oh, the yeah, video yeah. tab. Well, let me do this. So the, so the presentation in our storefront on Amazon shows the idea lists and photos and uh, videos all in, in one kind of an order in which we did them. Uh, so if I look over here, though, I can click on videos. And you can see all the videos, at least the, I think it's the first 50, I think, videos or the last 50 videos. But you can see we just did some things on a couple of products we're going to talk about today. Luminate, and uh, also on the uh, Black and Decker Bev, and so forth. So you can come in here, come to our storefront, and actually watch the videos, uh, and uh, and see the products you want to look at. Yeah. So if you're interested in seeing some of the videos, uh, more details on some of the products we're going to show today, you can go to our storefront and find them there. And then um, then we keep an idea. We keep these idea lists um, on our storefront as well. So everything we're going to talk about today is in that holiday gift guide part one, that very first idea list there. So if uh, you want to come back and, and uh, check these products out again, you can find them all right there on our idea list. So that's, um, that's it. And here's the idea list. Look at that. This is what we're going to talk about today. So this is a, so we have uh, been doing these holiday gift guides for quite a while, actually. I went and checked, and the first one we did it was in 2014. Uh, that was way before Amazon Live. And we started off just by doing uh, recommendations for smart home tech, you know, things like the um, Amazon uh, Echo, uh, maybe, uh, you know, the Nest thermostat. And so we started off really focused on the tech. But, you know, as the years went on, people like to know other tech gifts for people who don't necessarily want smart home in their house. Uh, so we, uh, so over the years we've been adding smart kitchen things, smart, uh, smart entertainment and other things. So we've broken our gift guide this year into two different parts. And this is the first part, which is the fun stuff. Wait a minute. The smart home stuff's the fun well, stuff. Well, the smart home stuff is fun stuff too. Well, so the smart home stuff's kind of more technical and these are kind of more like how we all live our daily lives, I think is the way oh, I look this at is, it. Yeah. So these are some gift ideas from some folks on your list. Um, that use technology. Every I think every single one is technology, um, mm -hmm. but you know they're they're more for fun, for travel, for kitchen. So we're going to go through that today, and we will come back and do another live stream on the smart home products we would recommend you buy as gifts. So that you can look forward to that one coming up soon. All right. So I think I've covered everything on well, my let's... list here. I'm a little rusty. All right. Let's see. Hold on. Oh. What's that noise? That noise is my book bag. Or my, I should say my camera bag, not my book bag. It's actually my multi-purpose bag. And basically, this is actually the first thing on our list. This is the first item on our list. So if so, you... you go ahead. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, I'm going to get out the AirTag if I can so find if it. You, it's so we small. love our Apple AirTags. Um, so we've had these for a couple years now. And if you have someone on your list who is a traveler, these are great to get. 
um, or frankly, anybody who has stuff that they don't want to lose. Um, so this is an Apple AirTag. That one actually has your initials on it. Yeah, look at that. That one there with initials on it. So, uh, so, so this is an Apple AirTag. I called it bacon, by the way. <laughs> so you know why? The, the reason why I have this little sticker on the back that says bacon is that we did the review on these things. We had to figure out like which, because we had you know several of them. We figured you know which is the bacon in my camera bag and the thing. It was kind of funny, so that's why there's a label on it. But they're cute. They're just little 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 tags. And uh, you know we just uh, did a trip, and you always wonder like, does my bag make it? Now some of the airlines have you know things on your on the app on their airline app, and it tells you your bag has made the plane and so forth. But we want to be sure. And what's amazing is I remember we we landed in Salt Lake. And we could see the bag was on our airplane on the on the on the tarmac right in front of the gate. And then as we wandered off to the to the next plane, you could watch the air tag migrate to the new plane. It was yeah, pretty wild. it was pretty cool. So pretty it gives wild. you that extra sense of security when you're traveling. It's like because we check our bags usually, but that means our bags actually made it. And then when we land at our destination, if it's taking a long time, we can look on our app and so oh well the bag is here at the airport, so it's eventually coming. So that's pretty nice. And you can buy them, what, four at a time? You or... can buy them either in a four-pack, which we would recommend because you there's always something you can use these for. Or if you just want to get it as a stocking stuffer, you can also buy them individually. And actually, right now, they're on sale here on Amazon. So, uh, And this four-pack is a pretty good deal. It's $79.99 right now. So uh, we think these are a great gift. Uh, you can get... You know, you can buy them by themselves. You can also uh, get like a keychain to go on, and, and then a lot of third parties are making uh, things that you could put a luggage tag. You can make a keychain. Oh, so There's all kinds of cool things you can find here on Amazon to hold your air tags. But we, what we usually do is we don't like to call attention to them, so we kind of hide them in our bag, like Mark did. Like I did, yeah. And the same with the suitcases; it works good over your purse or whatever else, since they're so small and thin. Um, so the nice thing is if you want to go right now, you could click on the screen in the bottom of the screen there, or is it on the side, depending on what device you're using. Uh, just click on it, and you can pick up your eye tags, and then you can browse and find uh, all the other devices that go with it, which yeah. is pretty cool. So. And beyond just suitcases, you know, like, like we said, uh, these are great for tracking everything. And another nice, really nice feature they have is that say you've got your, um, your backpack and uh, you're going somewhere else, uh, it will also tell you in the app that, you left your backpack behind. Oh, that's yeah, that's really kind of nice. So, like, uh, you know, it's um, well, Mark's case is camera bag. My ca my camera bag because you you know you're you're going to a restaurant. You're in the restaurant. and You got your camera bag here. And you see, I got it zipped inside here. And you know, you put this on a chair and you kind of wander off to to the other part of the airport or wherever you happen to be. And you go, oh, where's my bag? And the phone will actually alert you that hey, you're not with your bag anymore. And uh, they can go back and get it. And the cool thing is you heard the sound when I did it. I can play a sound. Let's see. Play sound. I don't know if you can hear that. Let's see. So that's kind of cool. And you can also, they actually have in the app the ability to find it. So it'll kind of give you directions to get to your device, which, yeah. is, which is pretty nice. Yeah. And so this is great if you use an iPhone. Obviously, we are Apple users. So uh, this works with the Find My app right on the iPhone. And if you use it for some of your other devices, you might already be familiar with it. Um, so that's the AirTags work with that. They're really easy to pair up, um, really easy to use. Now, if your loved one that you're buying the gift for doesn't have an Apple device, um, it will still work. Uh, it might just... I think it works, doesn't it? Actually, no, you have, to have, you have to have an Apple device. If you oh, don't have sorry. an Apple device, there's another company that makes it called Tile. We didn't put that on today's carousel, but yeah. Tile makes things that work with the other phones. Yeah, there's, well. a, there's another company called Tile. Yeah. Tile has been making these trackers for a long time, and they have one that would work with your Apple or also with your Android device. So if your loved one is not an Apple user, you might want to consider the Tile instead. Okay, so I, I, I want to get moving because the, ne the next product is like your favorite. Okay. You ready? What is my favorite? Well, just do the carousel and you'll see the magic All right, occur. I can move the carousel here. So if you're just joining us, we're going through our tech holiday gift ideas. And this one is my very favorite. This is the Ember mug. And uh, so if you guys have any questions, uh, please go ahead and type them in the chat. And uh, Mark, can you open up the chat window on your laptop? Because I can't see the... 
You can't see them. Okay, here we go. So There's a chat window. Leave that there so we can see it, okay? Okay, sounds like a plan. All right, so if you guys have any questions, please go ahead and type them into the chat, and we'll do our best to answer them. So now we're going to talk about, this is my favorite gift from last year. Is that? Oh, that's your favorite gift, but that's not your favorite mug. No, because this one was, actually Mark got this for me first. <laughs> this is the original Ember mug. I think, the, yeah, this is one. This one here, the copper one, this is 10 ounces. And I liked it so much, but I thought, mm, that's not really enough coffee for me. So I had to get the 14 ounce Ember mug. And I ended up with this one. <laughs> so and this is okay for Mark. But... Well, you know, the other <laughs> thing, by the way, is I on the carousel, I only put down the copper one because the copper one is just so cool. Yeah. But they do make it in other materials as well in color. So, you know, just go ahead and browse when you get on, online there and do it. But definitely, if you want a really nice cup and you drink a lot of coffee, get that 14 ounce or what you put the yeah. 14 ounce. Yeah, this is the, so this, it comes in 14 ounces. So this is the 14 ounce one. Um, so this is the 14 ounce and also comes in the 10 ounce. And like Mark said, this comes in a lot of other colors too. It comes in white and black and, and a lot of other different ones that don't cost $179. Um, <laughs> you know what I didn't bring upstairs? I didn't bring the charging base. Oh. So the way it works is, it's really nice. This thing's totally steel, sealed inside. There's no seam in there or anything like that. It's all totally sealed. And on the bottom, you see these couple of rings, and those rings are for charging. And so there's a copper charging base. The mat base matches the mug. And you just put it on that charging base, and then when you get up in the morning and have coffee, you've got this. You put the coffee in, and it keeps it warm, right? Yep. And it, when you originally set it up, it pairs with an app. And the app, you can use it to set your preferred coffee temperature or your tea or other things that you drink. And you can set that. You, they have some recommendations for you. I think it's 135 degrees for um, your regular coffee. Um, but you can customize that as you want. But then after you set that up, you don't ever have to use the app again. I mean, the, you don't need to use an app to drink your coffee because um, it just does it automatically to your temperature. So it's a really great product. Uh, it charges um, it charges up on that base, like Mark said. I can't remember exactly how long it lasts for. Well, probably an hour and a half, two hours. Like, it, like it lasts, like, for me, it lasts plenty of time uh, for me to finish my morning coffee. And then if you r like to keep your coffee hot all day and you're not going to drink it right away, you can just bring that little charging base wherever you are. Maybe in your office you have it at your desk and you put it on the charging base. And then it will keep it warm for however long you want. So so we did a we did another live where we, um, where we did the... Um, uh, the coffee time, right? I think yeah, it was the, that was actually, actually I, that our was last, the last one we had last done, right? One, yeah. So it's part of that. Well, before we, I'm not oh, done talking about the mugs. I, I could talk about here. the Ember mug all day. It's all my day, very but favorite we don't, thing. We don't have all day and, according you know, to the clock here. So. You might think it's kind of crazy to have a heated mug, especially these copper ones. They're really a splurge um, because they're very nice. And um, yeah, you know, it's Christmas. The holidays. This is the you thing. should splurge it's, on it's yourself, Christmas. right? It's Christmas. It's a you know, it's a great thing to buy because it's for for your friends who love coffee because it's probably not something they're going to buy for themselves. So this is a really nice special gift, and it's not just for coffee lovers. It, tea tastes a lot better hot too. And for me, I had no idea what a difference it would make for me to have hot coffee every day. It tastes so much better when it's hot. Now, you can set, in the app, you can set the temperature, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you set the temperature you want to have. So you set the temperature you want to have. So it's a great gift. So it comes in copper. It comes in, we should have put these in the carousel. I should, we should have done that, anyway. but uh, we didn't. But so the, you comes, can find it. Go click on it, and you'll find the other ones. In it there. comes in so. copper. It comes in black and white. It also comes in a really cool travel mug version that we don't have, but we bought those as gifts. Um, and those travel mugs, they're a little taller, and uh, they actually put the temperature readout on the outside, which is pretty neat. So if you have a loved one who takes their coffee on the road, that ember mug might be the best choice. You know what this is, don't you? That is the kettle. Well, no, but... This is like what happens on those late night talk shows when, when, when someone doesn't stop talking and they're supposed to move on to the next guest. No, that's the move. And the man. music goes on, but we can't put music on here, so we figured <laughs> I'll just move the kettle into position. Okay. Well, All right. So move these mugs. Move All right. The so that's mugs. the amber mug. So if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining our live stream today. We're Mark and Valerie, and we talk about tech stuff here on Amazon Live. And today we're going through some of our favorite tech gifts for the holidays. And now we're going to move on to, this is the Govee Smart Electric Gooseneck Kettle. 
So you can explain the kettle and then I can hold the base up because I don't think you can see the base real good in there. Well, you maybe you can because it's all it. black. So um, if you're not familiar with pour over coffee, this might look a little weird to you. I'm kind of blending in with this thing. <laughs> anyway, so it's got this gooseneck on it. And so this is really good for making pour over coffee because when you do the pour over coffee, you kind of... Is that, is that how it works? That's how it works. That's that's a, a I always wonder why I'm getting up in the morning and Valerie's making coffee, what that train sound is. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a smart electric kettle. And um, uh, so what, the way this works is obviously you plug it in. And again, it has its own app. So you can set up different things with the Govi app. You can also pair it with your Amazon Echo. So you can ask, mm, uh, I don't want to say her name, uh, to heat up your water either to the preset temperature or to one that you specify. So you can say... Um, uh, Amazon Echo, please set my water to 209 degrees and it will heat it up just exactly to your temperature. But trying the get, way trying to get the thing so it shows up on the on the screen. The way we <laughs> use it, which is really easy, is it's got these presets. And uh, the presets over here, um, it's got green tea, oolong tea. So there are different temperatures that are good for that. Coffee and then black tea or boil. And so what you could do is you just push the button, you push mode, and you pick whichever one you want. I always pick coffee. And then it heats the water on your kettle up to the very perfect temperature. And not only will it heat it up, it will also hold it for you. So there's a hold button you can do, and it will hold that temperature until you're ready to pour it. So, you know, you could also you know, set it on a timer so it could go off in the morning and be ready for you to pour. It's a really great, um, it has its own app, like I said. The app has some additional features. But once I set up the app and got it how I liked it, I don't need to use the app anymore. I just use the buttons. So if you're buying this for somebody who loves their coffee or tea and the, or to make hot water, they don't need to use the app. You could, I don't even know that you need to use the app at all. <laughs> well, but some people like, you know, some people apps like the app like and some people don't. Some people like their smart speaker and some people don't. You know what's but nice about this works about, with or without. You know what's nice about this is Don and me is that if you have company, they don't have they can use this without having to have an app in their phone. Of course. So that's kind of, you know, I think when I look at smart home things all the time, it's always like what happens if the internet goes down and I can't use an app or whatever else? <laughs> can I still operate it? So like a wall switch, can you do it? I think it's the same thing with the gadgets you get for your kitchen or whatever. You want to hope that you can use it without the app, right? <laughs> yeah, kind of, for kind of, sure. Kind of thing. So that's the that's the uh, coffee. This is the Govi Smart Gooseneck Kettle, and I realized I forgot to click it. Oh, no. So here it is. I finally clicked it in the carousel. So that's the Govi Smart Electric Kettle. Uh, it does come with the app, uh, and but it's it's great. We really love it. It fits nicely on that charging base. So what what's next? I mean, we've been talking about we talked about the the, the coffee cups. We talked about the air tags. We talked about the Gobi kettle. What's next? What's on the list? What is next? Oh, so, oh, we're gonna stay in the kitchen and we're gonna talk about the meter. Ooh, look at this! So if you're just joining us, uh, we're Mark and Valerie, and uh, we're at my home, and we're talking today about our favorite tech gifts for the holidays. I'm gonna bring them both out at the same time and confuse everybody. Okay, here it is. Okay. So we really love this. We've been recommending this for years. This is called the Meter, and this is the Meter Plus. You need to switch. Oh, sorry. I need to switch. So we've got two down here on the carousel. So we've got the Meter Plus. This is the individual smart uh, temperature thermometer for cooking your meats. And over here, this is the Meter Block. So the big difference is one and four. Well, it, the big difference is one four. This, these are Bluetooth, but the bigger one actually will hook up the Wi Fi. So, actually, this, I don't know if he does Wi Fi, to be honest with you. I don't think he does. I think he goes to your phone. And oh, he goes to your phone, yeah. yeah. Okay. With this one here, you can set up with Wi Fi, the big one. And, you know, so it's, it's really simple. It's like, so the nice little bamboo looking, or maybe it is bamboo, I don't know, uh, charging it case. Is bamboo, yeah. You check this out. You just put a, trip, what's a triple A battery in it, and the thing charges it all the time. I mean, if you realize on this whole thing, is that this is the this is the probe, right? You're used to the ones that have the uh, the wires coming out and everything else, and the big base or whatever else. This one here, that's it. And basically, the electronics are in the head. So you take this here, you put it into the meat uh, up to there's like a you won't be able to see it here, there's but there's a like line. a little line. You put it up to that line, 
and uh, you just leave it in there. And <laughs> whether it's in your grill or your oven or wherever, and uh, it'll tell you the temperature on your phone. Now this one here, you do have to use the app on your phone, uh, but you don't have to have the internet running. You can do it locally. And um, it's it, that's the whole thing. So what's cool though is, let me see if I can put this back in here, is, uh, and then put it back in, it charges itself. And, but this one here is cool because what it does is it actually talks to the block. I'll turn it on just for fun. And uh, you see a little, little thing coming up here or whatever. So you can actually control or uh, check this stuff out here from just this little app on here. Uh, but otherwise, you just pull the probes out. They have a little number scheme on here so you know which probe is which. Uh, you don't want to leave this in the grill, though. You'll for sure lose it. Um, and that's it. And it's, it's the same probe, but except it comes in a four pack. Yep. So when you you know you can use one meter uh, and give somebody one meter if uh, you know that's that's in your budget, um, or if you really want to be a little more extravagant and you you know you're making a gift maybe for your own family or for a big family. This is really great because you can cook uh, all these uh, with these four probes. You can cook everything to a totally different temperature. So if you're having a barbecue and somebody wants a turkey burger, somebody wants a beef burger, someone wants their burger well done or medium rare, you, know, you can have um, these probes in all the different meats and it will cook them right to your own temperature. So it's really great for using on the grill. It's really great for barbecues, especially if you're cooking steaks and everybody has a different preference. Uh, the app works really well with these. And frankly, I've learned a lot um, about cooking meats and getting them to the right temperature. So it will, not only will it tell you when your meat's done, it'll also tell you like how long it needs to rest uh, when it's done. So it's it's really great cooking tool. It helps you actually become a better, a better uh, cook. Well, you know, it's interesting because we use it both in the house and in the grill. And it's it, the, the house is great for the oven because you don't have the wires dangling out of it. But, you know, we did a video on this thing, a review on this. And uh, I think that was the surprising thing to me was that it said, oh, now let it rest for 10 minutes or five minutes or whatever it was. And it has a little graphic on the screen and it tells you when to let it rest. So it knows what's going on. It also knows. So what, what else is interesting about this? And one of the reasons why that line is so important is that it's got two temperature probes in this thing, actually. There's one that's inside the meat, so you know the temperature of the meat. But on the outside, it has a temperature sensor, so you know the ambient temperature inside the grill or inside the oven. So you can say, oh, I, the, I just turned the oven on. It's only at 200 degrees. I need to get to 350. This will tell you the oven's only at 200. The meats, of course, probably at that point is probably at 70. Uh, but then as it, as it increases, you see the two different things. You see how hot the oven is and you see how warm the food is, which is really nice. Yeah. So this is like one of the best, uh, it's just a simple gift. I mean, look at the, I mean, the meter block is a little bit more money, obviously, because there's four of them and this fancy uh, Wi-Fi interface. But, uh, you know, the meter plus, it's worth it. I mean, I, I yeah, love this, this is thing. A, this is, <laughs> this is a awesome. little more reasonable. It's a great price point for a gift, and both of these actually are on sale right now. The Meter Plus is on sale for seventy nine, and the Meter Block is on sale for two seventy nine. That's a really great deal. This one takes four double A's. Yeah, so this <laughs> so, is a little more. So it, it uh, takes a little bit more, but the uh, but it's just so look at this. Everything's simple about this. They this thing hooks on. It's really it's well designed. Four, four metal pieces here in a magnetic surface. And it snaps in place, so no screwdrivers or all that nonsense that you go crazy with. So, yeah, see, and right now it's saying use Wi-Fi or use standalone. I don't know if I can see Yeah, so you can this. actually use this meter block without the, just as a standalone. Yeah, it's a standalone device. That's it works pretty, okay. Pretty cool. I still like it much better with the app. I think the app's much easier to use. See, and it shows you all your four of your probes. They're all and if, charged and ready to right, go. And if they were being used, you'd see they were being used. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to turn this off. And what's next? What's next? Well, this is another one of our very favorite um, kitchen gifts, tech gifts. Hold on. Let me, let me put this away while you're talking about it. Oh, this one here. You like this. Yeah, so we really like this. We've been recommending this for years, and for a lot of our friends who bought this as gifts, we have uh, haven't had many complaints, or any complaints, I should say. <laughs> so yeah, we've this had is, this for a long time. We've too, had right? this for a long time. So uh, now this is... Uh, the Breville Jewel Sous Vide uh, yes, Circulator. Yes, it used to be just the Jewel. Now it's the Breville. It was just the Jewel, and then Breville acquired Jewel a few years ago. Well, look at so, this. The, the case is pretty cool. This they is our original box that we've had probably since, I don't know, like... How has it survived? 2017, I think. Okay, so there's the box. Probably it's had this for five or six years now. 
Yeah, it tells you how to do things in here. Well, we'll just put this to the side. So, so what this is, is this is, <laughs> it's funny looking. Um, so this is a uh, sous vide circulator to cook uh, foods sous vide. So you put this inside a pot and it hooks on with this little clip on the outside of the pot. And then this bottom, is this magnetic? I think it is magnetic, but I'm not sure. It doesn't matter because it's got a little bit of a... It's got like a little rubber bottom, rubber bottom. so it's not going to move but around look inside at the, your pot. Look at the bottom. It's got a hole in it. You see how it's like a, a little disc on top of a mount? Because there's a motor in here, and it circulates the water from this hole here and in here. So it takes the water in. I think I believe it takes the water in down here and dumps it out the top. So you have to fill the pot up a certain amount of water, but you just put that in there and just sits in the pot. And like Valerie said, you've got this, this nice uh, snappy clamp, clamp. And then you plug it in, and then you can turn it on by the top. Well, it's not plugged in. No, it's not plugged in. But I'm saying you can turn it on by the top, but more importantly, the app. Right? Yep. So this works with the Jewel uh, app. Uh, and if you've never had sous vide, um, if you never had, well, you probably have had sous vide if you've eaten a restaurant. So uh, sous vide heats up. Your, whatever you're cooking to an exact temperature to cook it. Uh, so uh, the, basically what happens with this device, it heats the water up to say like 190 degrees and then it holds that temperature long enough to cook whatever uh, meat or, or whatever thing you're cooking. And then it holds it at that temperature so it's perfectly cooked and ready to eat whenever you are. So, you know, this is a, a common technique used in restaurants and by chefs. Uh, to get meats to the perfect temperature so you don't want to you know if you want to cook 25 steaks you can put them all in the you put them in a bag and then you put them inside the water inside the pot and then those 15 steaks could all be perfectly the same temperature uh, so they use this a lot in restaurants it's a very common chefy technique and we really like it uh, it's for, for us we love it because we can take a pork chop out of the freezer that's in a you know in a plastic bag in a freezer bag. We can put it in the pot, uh, turn the sous vide on, and we can. The the app makes it really easy to pick uh, what you're gonna cook and exactly how you like it. Uh, you set it and forget it. So maybe that pork chop out of the freezer might take two hours to come up to the perfect temperature. And so whenever we're ready, we just take that out, and it is tender perfectly cooked you never overcook anything well it tells you the time it gives you a range of how long yeah. it should be in there for and the and the other thing is when we put things in the bag we season it and stuff right yeah so course. you can put all the things inside the bag so you know if you're someone that goes to some of these stores that like sell you know pork chops by the by the dozen uh it's great go get that dozen pork chops put them each in an individual bag and then when you want to go sous vide if you need three you grab three bags put them in the water turn this guy on here and you're done. It's and this is really great. I mean, for chicken breasts, for steaks, for pork chops, just because it's you're going to have them at the perfect temperature, they're not going to be overcooked. So there's nothing worse than an overcooked chicken breast. Really? Well, maybe an overcooked turkey. It's also really <laughs> great uh, for turkey. We made a turkey breast a couple of times, um, and once we just did it overnight. It was just amazing. Yeah. Now, the one thing that they tell you to do is either before or after, it depends on the recipe, uh, is you want to sear the meat. So if, like, if you were to just sous vide the pork chops and take them out of the bag, they look kind of like... They're cooked, but they don't they look, look They don't look attractive. attractive. <laughs> so you put them in a fry pan, zap them for like, for like 30 seconds I mean, and that's each it. side, and it gives you gives you the texture yeah. look. Same thing with that, uh, the breast. I think that one there, I think we did the, the, the roasting first, right? The cover Yeah, the we actually seared it first. We put it in the bag, put some bunch of spices and stuff in oh, it. it. And then when it came out, it was all done. We didn't need to sear it again. Because, so, you know, sear the skin, it looks a little better. Yeah. Um, so. Even though it's done perfectly. Um, so uh, this is the Breville Jewel Sous Vide. Uh, it comes in white and stainless steel. This is a stainless steel one. And uh, it comes with a lot of recipes built right into that Jewel app. And, you know, you can always... Uh, you know, find other recipes on the, uh, you know, that you might want to use with the sous vide as a full featured sous vide machine. Um, but that app has got tons and tons of things to really help you get started. And I think you'll love it. So this is a great gift for the cook in your life. Maybe that cook is you. Um, and uh, like I said, it's a gift we've been recommending for years and years. And so far, everyone's been really happy with it. Now, am I going to be able to put it back in, do you think? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll fit back in that thing with the little cord. All right. So and, uh, if you're just joining us, we're Mark and Valerie, or Valerie and Mark, since I'm talking. And uh, we're going through some of our favorite uh, gift ideas for the holidays for technology stuff. 
And no, I did not successfully put it back in the box. <laughs> because we're on the show live, and it would take like a week. It doesn't matter. So. Anyway, so we're talking about our favorite holiday gift ideas uh, for technology stuff. Um, so looking for if you're looking for gifts for your family and friends for the holidays, and you want to guy, buy them some tech, that's what we're here to talk about. So thank you so much for joining. And if you have any questions, please go ahead and type them in on the chat, and we'll do our best to answer them. So now we're going to move on from the kitchen uh, to... The entertainment room or the entertainment outdoor room. However you want to entertain. Oh, Cavalier Mom. Thanks for joining, Cavalier Mom. I'm looking for a wireless home theater system. Any ideas? A wireless... Well, yeah. it, what, is, what do you mean by wireless? You mean like speakers are wireless? Because a lot of them out there uh, are that way. We have actually a Denon receiver, and um, it actually will talk to the speakers remotely. But you just have to make sure that that receiver is there. But today, in today's show, unfortunately, we don't have the... We're not going on that. But um, yeah, okay, so you said yes, you want to uh, do it wireless. Yeah, I think our, our Denon, I believe, will talk to wireless speakers. Some of the later model of the receivers will do that. And it's well, really so are nice. you looking for like a receiver or are you looking for a... Oh, like a smart thing? A, like, like, a, a, like, a, like a one of these... Like a sound bar or One of or these guys Sonos here, the, or... one of these little Amazon things. Which are you looking for? See, I think she says well, a wireless home theater. Oh, a receiver. Yeah, yeah. So the Denon is really nice. Uh, we have our Denon hooked up uh, with wires, but... Uh, you can get a model with the wireless. Well, we love the Denon line. It's it's very good. Um, we that's a, that's one of the more popular things we've had it for years now. It's working great. So, yeah, we're actually on our second Denon receiver. Um, maybe they, ha they have what's they have what's in there. Uh, I don't want to jump to another thing here, but the uh, the thing with Denon, they have something called Heos H E O S, and they make speakers that are Heos speakers, and then they pair up with the receiver. So you have to buy the receiver, and then you have to go and buy the speakers that have a wireless built in. So I'm glad that, so that helped you? So perfect, yeah, this is yeah, great. Yeah, so Denon is a really great brand, and they have kind of all ranges of prices, too. You could spend a lot of money, or you could spend, you know, there's, there's lots they have of a pretty, They have ranges. a pretty good range of stuff. I the, We got the 2700H or something like that. But uh, just make sure it covers, it, it handles the wireless speakers like the Heos and the Denon line. And the neat thing is then you have an app on your phone, and then you can tell it to turn it on. So like, even though we're wired, we have the speakers in our backyard so that when we're doing something like this, um, we can turn the speakers on from the receiver uh, using the app and, and have it play music and so forth from your phone or wherever. So, okay. So this is the... So great. Thanks for the question, Cavalier yeah. Mom, and thanks for joining. Yeah, and if you have more questions, just... Put it in here, and I'll try to remember to watch. <laughs> so, okay. So, what's this? This is the codec. oh. So this is a little bit different. So this is a mini projector. This is a Kodak Luma 350 portable smart projector, and uh, you can use this inside, or uh, you could also use it outside. It's got a bunch of directions on it. It's got it? a bunch of directions. So, uh, we did a we did a video on this that's also you can find on our storefront. Now, this is interesting because, you know, you talk about certain gear. This is the part of me, the engineer. After we're done using it, I package it back up in its original box and do it. But here you go. It's right here. Yep. So this is a portable smart projector. And um, if you're like us, you work in technology, maybe you've done some presentations where you plug your laptop into a projector. They used to be, like, really big. Um, so this is a baby version of a of a big full size projector. Uh, so it's you basically it has a power plug. It has HDMI and USB on the back. So here you go. So you could yeah. plug. Um, you can plug a, a USB stick in it or a USB drive if you wanted to to read from it. It also, when using the app, it'll actually let you hook up to uh, Netflix and Hulu. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones that, but it, basically Netflix and Hulu. At least, uh, again, yeah. we did a review on. I, I don't know if I can turn this on. No, don't, don't turn it on. Make real bright, but I'm going to tell you this is the this is the lens or the projector, and it, this is only what 150 inch screen it says it supports, and I forgot how many lumens is 200 ANSI lumens, and you can get a lot more expensive units that have a lot more lumens. But I got to tell you, we did, we did a review on this. The it's bright. I mean, it's really good. Whether you know. Even in, at dusk or not even, you know, before dusk, it'll, it'll project fairly good and, um, and give you a good sound. It has speakers in it, but I'll tell you, what we did is we actually have a little portable Bluetooth speaker because it will work with Bluetooth speakers. We paired this to the Bluetooth speaker, 
and you get even better sound out yeah. of it because it's you know so this has got a little tiny speaker on the on the thing. So this is great. So you know maybe you're traveling over the holidays and you want to show off some of your photos. You want to show off some some movies you made. Your family home, you know you know home movies on your phone. Uh, you just want to watch movies together, like kind of have your own movie night with a big projector or big or a big screen. I should say this is the projector. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of different ways you can use this. What we did with it is we used this screen. And I can't say the name of it, but I'll stick it up. No one can, can. Can you? Okay. Can anybody, <laughs> look at the name of this thing. So, <laughs> so fortunately, we're able to put this on the. Uh, it's we right there. The carousel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's in the carousel because you can't do it, but it's really nice. I mean, it comes in a nice bag. I don't open it up. It's too big. It's too big. Oh, it's too big. Come on. Anyway, so we what we did is we set it up in our backyard. Oh, no, so we hung up this big screen and uh, this is the one that we that we bought from Amazon hooked it up with some bungee cords <laughs> it's just like a big white sheet and it has uh, grommets on it they're brass so they don't uh, yeah. hopefully they don't rust which is really important when you hang the, the thing you have to hang it from spot to spot it comes with the little hooky things that you would get to um, hook it on the wall uh, we didn't use it because we're worried it would take the paint off when you yeah. removed them, but you have that. The other thing we did is we just went down and got ourselves some bungee cords. And uh, we hook it up with a bungee cord, so it makes it easy to put it up and take it down. Yep, so in the summer, yeah. um, you know, we just set that up in the backyard and we watched Netflix out back. It was really cool. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's nice. It's just nice to, to, um, to be able to watch things on a big screen. They say this is like the equivalent of 4K when you project it that big. Well, no, no. So the it's only 480p coming out of this projector. Yeah. But I got to tell you, you think that's, oh, that's terrible. We used to have a 720p TV and it was not good. But let me tell you, it's amazing how good it is. It's really clear. Even really at nice. the size. Well, this thing is a 120-inch screen. And we probably zoomed it to maybe 100 degree, 100 inch diagonal. And um, it worked well. It is 69, so it's just like your TV. Uh, it's it's nice. I mean, in this thing here, it projects really well. Um, they have a little wheel on the side to adjust the focus. It doesn't autofocus. But what it does do, which I think is so cool, is you see when you do this and you go, is it going to be like kind of goofed up when if it's at an angle? And it's smart enough. I don't know how they do it. It's smart enough that if you put this projector at an angle on a wall and it looks like it should be kind of trapezoidal when you do that, it actually adjusts itself automatically and makes it square on the wall. Yeah. I don't know how it does it. It's pretty wild, right? And you, so. it has two different settings too, where you can either project onto it or if you have a, you can actually project from behind. As well, well, yeah, there's not this that does it. Uh, it's the, well, you have to go in the app and tell it to yeah. reverse. You just got to make sure your screen can handle projection from behind. We did that experiment. I think we did that in a review. Yeah. Uh, and it looked pretty good, but yeah. you know, it's so good up front. Right. Yeah, and you really can project nice. it like we projected on their walls here, and it works fine. Yeah. So it is battery powered, but you're going to want to plug in if you're going to watch it any more than probably a half yeah, hour. Yeah, like an hour, right? Or half hour, hour. hour. I don't think it's real. And then you, like, I haven't charged this in a long time, so <laughs> the problem is, you know, it's like you got to remember to have it yeah. charged up. So it comes with a power supply. Uh, so you're you're all so, set. Away. You know, if you're going camping and you want to watch some movies while you're outside, it's kind of neat to do it that do it that way. Um, you need to power it up, though. Yep. So that's that's cool. It's, so it's really neat. We this really is really it. nice. They have different models that are up and down the product line. We think this is actually, you know, if you're a casual person that's just having it for once in a while for the kids and having a movie net outside or whatever, or just wants to do something inside the house, this is just fine. You're gonna you're gonna like the picture. It's gonna be great. It's not your 4K TV, but it's gonna look good. But you can also you can take the output from your phone. And send it to this as well because it is Bluetooth. So it does do uh, AirPlay and uh, whatever that Google stuff is. So um, it worked good, right? We liked it. Yeah, it's nice. really nice. All right. All right. So now what do we do? What is next? So oh. we're going to go a little bit different direction here. So if you're just joining us, we are talking tech gifts for the holidays. And uh, these are pretty different. But, um, one for you and one for me. Let's see. Yeah. I'll take this one. This well, one. so these are neat. So we are big fans of Shark Tank. And uh, we saw the co-founders of, Sh of Luminate on Shark Tank, and they got a deal. I don't remember how long ago that was. Probably five or six years ago. Well, all I know is it's on the bag. It says Shark Tank. That's true. It says Shark Tank on the bag. And so these, this is, these are from a company called Luminate. And we have both of these in the carousel. So there's two versions of this. 
Uh, Mark I has the... I have the Titan. That's the first one there. Oh, so this yeah. is the first one. So there's two versions of this. It's what it is. It's a solar-powered lantern. Making a lot of noise. <laughs> it's a solar-powered lantern um, that you can use to get some light. You know, if you're going camping or you're, going, you're doing things outdoors, or even if you just want to have it for emergencies if your power goes off at home. It, it's a little lantern. You're going to have to... Oh, this is the part. This is interesting. So we're going to show you the Max as well. But this one here, the way it works is... So I'm going to make this into a handle. So there's a... On the front here is a solar panel to, that'll charge this. I guess I have it upside down. That'll charge the, the device itself. All right? Now, let me make a handle out of this thing because I think it'll make it easier to do the, uh, do the thing. So you've got a handle. So if you want to hang it, you can hang it. No problem. But then you have to take this little... Thing. It's kind of like an inflatable uh, balloon, right? You just take this off. But this one here kind of sucks its own air in. I don't know how it does it, but <laughs> you take this thing and you kind of twist it open like that. Okay, so you probably can't hear me doing that, but here it's see what. And it takes a little bit of force to do it, but you kind of do a twisting motion. Twist. And then twist for this one. And it sucks the air in and out. You don't see there, it's not going to collapse on its own. It's somehow they've made it so it won't do that. And then you just close this up. And now you have your lantern. Now, so this is a lantern, and it's pretty bright, actually. Turn it on. Oh, I guess I could turn it on, huh? Yeah. Oh. No, and it comes Well, this in. one comes, this one is, uh, has white and red. This is the Titan model. This right? is the, no, yeah. Isn't it? It's oh, a Titan. Yeah, yes, this is the, the Titan, Titan, sorry. So this is the lantern. It's pretty bright. It's got different intensities. And you can also make it red. You can make it flash. So this is a really great camping lantern uh, for outdoor use. Um, and the other really neat thing you can do with it is that you can charge your devices because it's got a built-in charger here. So the micro USB is for this cable to charge this thing. So if you don't have sunlight and you want to charge it, you can charge it with a, with a micro USB cable. And, uh, or if you happen to have, a, um, you happen to have sunlight, you can plug it in here and this little light over here will go red saying, hey, you got enough light, it's charging it up. So charge either way. But then if you want to charge, let's say, your phone, you have to remove this cable. They don't want you having this plugged in at the same time you're, you're charging. And there's a USB-A connector over here. So then you can plug your favorite cable in, whether it's a lightning cable or a USB-C cable. You can plug the USB-A end of it in here. And then what you do is you just turn, press this button here. And this button here is, also tells you how charged it is. Watch. So it's, it says it's fully charged because it shows four bars. So... What you do is plug it in, plug it in the phone, then turn this on. So it's just like other charging bricks you might have. You always have to be plugged into the device, then tell it to charge. Otherwise, it doesn't know there's something connected, or you know, it doesn't see anything connected, so it shuts itself off. So, but that that's so simple. Yeah, right? it's so simple. So this is the Titan. So this is the little bit uh, more expensive version. It's got a longer lasting battery and it's yeah, got... It's, it's 4,000 milliamp battery in this one here. And I believe this one's 2,000? Is that what it says? Yeah, this one is... Or maybe not the same. They may not. 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. So double the size battery. I really like this one. This is, you know, it's so lightweight. <laughs> You're right about that. Yeah. So. so let me open up the other one just so we can show you the difference. So this one is the Max, Packlight Max. So it also comes with the USB or micro USB cable to charge it. And uh, it's got, it looks very similar. It's got a little bit different handle. And this one, you actually have to blow up. So, it's a... This one's a little more of a work, but it's easier to blow it up than it is to untwist this thing here. I think so. It's like being at the beach, blowing up the beach ball. I know. So, so this is the, you know, I didn't blow, you didn't blow up that much. I didn't okay. blow it up that good, but you get the idea. Um, it also has a handle. This one's a little. Yeah, and this one here is a little more difficult. So they have like these little rubber things. Little the rubber Velcro. things. So again, it's, it's also a camping lantern. This one is only white. It's just white, not white and red. Um, and it does the different intensities. Um, and oh, it's flashing. It also has the charging for your devices. So 2,000 milliamper, 4,000 milliamper, both have a, a uh, both have a, a uh, solar panel on it. 
Actually, you've had, I didn't notice this before, but this one is bigger because it's got a bigger battery. So, uh, and then like Valerie said, this does the red and white. This one only does the white. But think about it. You're out in the backyard. You're setting up for the for the pop you know popcorn show with a, the Luma projector, <laughs> and you can walk around with this. And we because we did this late last night, right? We kind of used it. Yeah, it's so, really it yeah. really puts out a lot of light, especially on the highest intensity. So it lasts a long time. So these are great for people, your outdoorsy friends and family who like to go camping or do outdoor activities. It's, you know, everybody can use uh, another charger, especially. It's great because it charges up with the sun, so it can charge up your devices. It, it as, you, as you saw, it folds up nice and flat, so it's easy to, to keep in your backpack for backpackers. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a really great device for, for friends, and, friends and family who like to go outdoors. And it's also a really great emergency uh, lantern in case of a power outage because you can keep it charged up. It'll give you some extra light, and it will charge your devices. So the other thing that we have, I think it's time we move on to the next thing, which is so cool. Are we so moving cool. on? Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess we better keep moving. Yeah, moving. The music's playing. All right. Okay. So if you're just joining us, thank you so much for joining. We're talking about our favorite holiday tech gifts for your friends and family. And now we're going to talk about... The whole box of stuff. It's a whole big box of stuff. But if you look in the box, it's the Kodak Photo Printer gift bundle so let's take a look i'm going to this pull is all the kodak stuff mini 3 retro okay photo well, printer i'm bringing all that well this is right now this is just the bundle guy, well this right? is the bundle so right and uh, this is the empty box and i'll show you why in a second here comes with a tin can we'll show you that too yeah, a lot of stuff yeah all sorts of stuff in this so, kind of cool huh and oh and i and, and this is really funny because I'm like, oh, they gave clothespins. Like, why do I need clothespins? Because the when it prints, it seals itself, so you don't have to worry about touching the thing as soon as it comes out of the printer. <laughs> and I thought it was for hanging the things to dry, and then I got explained to me that no, you it's hang the decoration. string up and you're in your room, and then you can clip the photos on, and that's kind of cool. Yeah. But I guess that's what has to anyway. do with the hair so color. So this is the so. accessory bundle. So I'm good. I'm going to click right now on the actual device itself. So this is the Kodak Mini 3 Retro. It is a photo printer. And what it does is it prints out photos from your phone, real photos, because it uses these different print cartridges. It's got a cool case, came with this it too. This accessory kit came with a really cool case. And the cool thing is, and I'll take it out in a second, is they have holes in the side for like where you charge it. It takes a micro USB charger and a hole in the side for the print to come out. So that means you could kind of go visit your friends, right? So. Imagine you got you know a teenager and they want to go over their well maybe not even teenager but they want to go over their friends and they want to take and print some small prints out from their phones or whatever else they can do it right in this nice carrying case it's yeah, kind of it's cool. Yeah, it's pretty case. But let's well, take why don't a look you show the like. printer? The actual device. Okay. So this so is it, the Kodak Mini Three Retro. It's a photo printer, so it prints three by three photos. Um, it pairs up with a photo printer app right on your phone, so you can pick out your photos. And then you can do some fun things. You can put some filters, you can put some frames and stuff like that. It's a really fun, really easy to use app. And it uses these cartridges uh, to, uh, you know, to print out the photo paper. And this prints, it's called dye sublimation process. So it does four passes for the four different colors. And it's a really, really high quality print that comes out. And they say these are gonna last for a really long time. So they're very high quality prints. Can show, so this is a little box that comes with it. And we already put them. Well, we show we something else. Put some of this other stuff away. So, so away. So here's the box for it. Put that away. We and did a review photo album of... that comes with it. They give you a little photo album. They gift guy. Okay. And I'm find all that stuff. Later. Well, I'll find it later. Oh, and then they give we... you two boxes. Look at they give you two boxes or two cartridges, uh, extra cartridges to print from. So we just did a review on this the other day. So here is the picture that we printed out. I don't know if you can... Well, it's nice as you can touch it. It's not sticky or anything. Well, yeah. No, it's so it's it's going to last a really long time. It's really nice. Really nicely done. So it prints out these little 3x3 three three photos. And the accessory kit comes with this cute little silver box you can keep your pictures in. Yeah, we were wondering when we got the box. Like, what do I need this silver box for? But, um, and it's really nice because when it prints it out, it does it, what, four passes? Yeah, four passes. What's it called? It's called dye sublimation. And it's beautiful. You watch the app on the phone, you know, and you're watching and it's like yellow and then magenta. I'm not sure the three or four colors, but, and then it finally does a pass. It says we're putting a protection on it so that you can, as soon as it's done printing, you can touch the photo. And the app also includes uh, tools to kind of 
uh, edit your photos. So you can make it lighter or darker. Or you can crop it. You can rotate it. You can yeah, really put funny. them together in a, in a, how do you say it? What? In a cool. A collage. Okay. Not a collage. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So the other thing is it comes with two cartridge replacements in here, um, at least for, for the, the kit. And then inside is the cartridge. So you just take that and replace the cartridge, and you can do another, like, how many's on here? 30? I think so, yeah. Yeah, 30, 30, and this, and this model is 30 sheets. Um, so you just get replacement cartridges. That's it, and it's just so, so tiny. We don't know if it's plastic. I think it's plastic. Valley thinks it's metal, but it's pretty, it's pretty durable. And like I said, it, when you couple it with this cool case, it's great. So, I mean, if you're... When you look at this and you start looking at, like, bring up the, oh, you got the photo printer, right? Yeah. So look at the price for the photo printer and then look at the price for the, for the combo kit, right? And by the way, it, this is white. It comes in black and it comes in Kodak yellow. Yep. So it comes in three colors. So, and you can get bundles with just the printer itself, the printer and the cartridges, and then you can also get this really cool accessory kit, which yeah. we think is really worth it. Yeah. So this is just... It's a wonderful gift, and uh, you know it's like I said in the in the stream here. Um, you know it's cool because I figured you know who who prints prints anymore. I mean they don't, but this thing makes it kind of fun, right? The whole idea we can do the little print and uh, get it out there. I, I'm sure I'm going to be doing more printing. That's really so. neat. You know, and I know some people do print stuff. They print stuff at the drugstore or they send it off on the internet to print. But why wait when you can do it right here? And actually, Kodak says that it's uh, not much more expensive or even cheaper to print out these using their cartridges. So it's a really great gift. It's a lot of fun. And we think that loved ones in your life will have a lot of fun with it. Who's this person in the picture here, though? I don't Look know. At it's that. us. Let's see. Can we see it better? Hmm? Let's see. Never can figure out to do this thing because you gotta we gotta cover our faces for the zoom to go in. Anyway, so our, our picture turned out. <laughs> so that's good. it. The t picture came out really and nice. If you, if you do go to our play. storefront, you can find our videos right up top because we just did that a couple days ago. Yeah. All right. So hold so, on. So let me uh, let me put this away while you move on I to the next. I can't. I can't lift the next thing. So you're gonna. I'm gonna have to, have to go get the next thing because it's a little larger than. All right. The so this is printer. really fun. What? It's fun? This is fun. So this okay. is this is a really good gift. This is kind of an extravagant gift. So it's maybe it's for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so depends how you do it. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to go get it. All right, there we go. Now that I put all this gear down here. Well, I can get part of it. Okay, okay. You could you get the top and clean those things. And, uh, all right. All right, now you gotta move that out of the way because I'm gonna have to lift. All right. All right, there it comes. There it comes. Okay, I'm going to put it in an angle because so it's kind of cool to see, see things. So this is the Bev by Black & Decker. So this is your own personal bartender for home. It's really cool. It's really cool. So what this does is it's, um, you can see these little tubes here. So... This is a little tube that you can put into your bottle of liquor. And then what the Bev does is that it uses these cartridges here. These are Bartesian cocktail cartridges. So you put your cartridge in here and then you put it down. It reads the barcode on it. And then it figures out exactly how much of each kind of liquor it needs to make your cocktail. So, well, not just cocktails with booze. You could have cocktails with booze, or you can have mocktails with just water. So this bottle over here, I don't know if you can no, see you can't it yet. No. I'm not going to take it out, but this is for water. And then each one of these uh, little spots here, ooh, it's lighting up right now. You put, te you can put tequila, r gin, rum, whiskey, and vodka, and water, S and water. So put five different bottles of liquor there, and plus your water. You put your cocktail glass down here on the little and the little, the on little, the little tray, tray yep. and you use your Bartesian cocktail capsule and it makes you the perfect drink. So here you can pretty, probably they can probably see you better here, but it, don't you show them what this is all about. So this is how you can see here like how it takes the and it came with the, the water liquid one. out of the of bottle. So this you've got this little kind of rubbery part here and then there's a stainless steel straw. And you put that down, and that goes all the way to the bottom of the glass. Yep. So it can pull it right from the right. bottom. You get every last drop. 
Yeah, you don't want to waste it. And then all you have to do to make it work is you put it in here. You lift this little thing up and you push this in like that. It sits on top of the thing and then you push the handle down and that's it. And you do that with each of the bottles of booze and uh, you're all set. Yep. And so how this works is that it uses these Bartesian cocktail capsules. So this one that we got that we're highlighting here in the carousel is uh, the classic collection. So it's got six different cartridges here and it's two each. Well, is it two each? No, no. I don't think so. Oh, no. It's one each of six different kinds of cocktails. So this one has Long Island iced tea, whiskey sour, cosmopolitan, margarita, uptown rocks, and old fashioned. And inside these little capsules here... Um, there's no alcohol, it's just juices and, and flavorings, um, so you can see it here. This is the margarita. Uh, and so what it does is it's just reading this little barcode on the capsule when you put it in here. That's how it knows exactly what to pick out. So um, what's really neat about this too is that it's great for everybody who comes to your party, even if they don't want to drink alcohol, because you can also make it a mocktail. So I don't know if you can see, oh here we go. So right across the top here, you dial up your strength. So since there's no alcohol in these cartridges, you put your cartridge in. And if you want it to be a mocktail, you just, here it's got a little slash through it. So that has no alcohol. And then you can, or you can dial it up to be light, medium, or strong. But it draws the water from this bottle that they give you. Yeah, so for a mocktail, it'll draw the water from the bottle and it'll make a drink for you. And there's also this thing over here that's got a shaker on it. It's a good idea to get a, a, a shaker, so um, some drinks are better cold. And so if this little shaker light's on, it's recommending that you take out the drink and shake it up with ice before you serve it. So this is really great for a party because it's a little bartender. You can have all kinds of different cocktails. You can buy, there's up to, there's 40 different Bartesian cocktails that you can get. So you can get all kinds of different flavors and it's really fun to have a party and try all kinds of different cocktails without mixing them yourself. And if you go to that spot, right, where you see the things, only, it's not that expensive. If you go there, then that page you'll find other combinations. There's and all kinds of combinations. Combination. This just happens to be the one that we have. And we tried the, we tried, which one did we try? We the tried a Cosmopolitan. Oh, Cosmopolitan. It was really because good. Because we didn't have any liquor. So <laughs> the Cosmopolitan tasted pretty good as a mocktail. So this is really fun. This is a really fun gift for your party animals in your life, maybe yourself. Um, so it makes a really fun party uh, because you can make cocktails and you, nobody has to be doing the bartending. They just use the bev. And... It has party mode, so you see the lights kind of doing a little flash dance over here. It's in the got bottles. different lights. If, you know, the bottles light up, and they, I noticed that they rib the bottle, so you get a good look from the yeah, from the, it's from the neat. light. So obviously, the alcohol is not included. The bev just comes like you see it with all the different uh, with the different um, straws, then the lights, and the, so you buy your capsules and you buy your liquor separately. You get it all set up, but it's pretty fun. It doesn't have an app. It doesn't need an app because all the technology is right in here with reading the barcode and putting out the right amount of liquor to and make And you your can't cocktail. see on the top, but they have a directions on the top of the unit. So you don't even have to, It's you know, really easy. As you, go, as you go through the night, you'll still know how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> the important thing to do is to make sure you put the right liquor on the right pad, because you don't want to have a margarita with whiskey. And don't, don't forget to buy plenty of these guys, because without <laughs> them, the machine doesn't do you any good, right? So <laughs> anyway, so the, that's the Bev by Black and Decker. It's really fun. It uses these Bartesian capsules to make all kinds of different cocktails. So it's a really great gift uh, for yourself or for your friends and family. So we're coming to the end of the of the uh, show. So why don't we just do a quick recap of what we have? All right. So we have a few minutes here. So uh, we just talked about um, the kind of the tech gifts that we recommend for your friends and family, and we're focused today on fun stuff for your kitchen, for outdoors. Uh, so we talked about the Apple AirTags, because these are great for helping you find your stuff, especially if your friends and family are travelers. So we definitely recommend those. Um, the Ember Mug is great if uh, you have a coffee lover in your life or a tea lover who likes to have their coffee or tea hot. And believe me, they probably didn't realize how important that was until they try the Ember Mug. The Ember Mug comes in this really nice copper one, or it also comes in lots of different colors and styles. Um, the Govi Smart Electric Kettle. This is a great device to heat up the water to your exact temperature for your coffee or tea. And it works with an app or it even works with the Amazon Echo, which is pretty cool. We also covered the meter, the meter plus and the meter block. These are smart th temperature probes that you can use when you're cooking your meat. Works great on the grill. It's great for that grill master in your life. 
uh, the Breville sous vide. If you have an aspiring chef in your life or uh, somebody who wants to become one, this is a great tool for cooking, sous vide cooking right at home. It works great with the Jewel app. And the, we also talked about the Kodak Luma 350 projector. This is a portable smart projector, really tiny, and it can turn your backyard into a movie theater if you pair it with this screen I can't pronounce. We also talked about the Luminade. Um, we talked about the two-in-one uh, Titan and Max. These are camping, these are camping lanterns, uh, outdoor lanterns for camping or outdoors or for emergencies. And they are powered by the sun and they can also charge your devices. So there's two versions, the, the Titan and the Max. Those and are the both. Titan is 4,000 milliamps and the Max is 2,000. So those are both really great gifts for the outdoors people in your life. We also showed you the Kodak Mini 3 Retro Photo Printer that prints out little 3x3 photos from the app on its phone. And we recommend the accessory bundle that comes with that because it's got a lot of really cool things plus some extra cartridges to print out your pictures. Or you can buy it by itself. So that's a really nice gift. It comes in white, black, and yellow. And then finally, we just talked about the Bev by Black & Decker. It is a your own personal bartender for at home. So. It uses uh, the barcode on the Bartesian cocktail capsules to make a perfectly mixed drink every time to your exact specifications, whether you want a mocktail or you want it light, medium, or strong. So that's it. These are our holiday gift ideas. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You can find all of these in the wish list in the store uh, on our storefront that we showed you at the beginning. And if this is your first time watching us, please follow us so you can find out the next time we do a live stream. And next time, when we come back to do our holiday gift guide part two, we will talk about some of the smart home technology we think is a, they're good starter gifts for the for your friends and family who want to really use smart home technology. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, have a great Thanksgiving, everybody.